My name is Teresa Miller and I sit on the board of directors for the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation, also known as JDRF. I have a son, his name is Davis, and he's 18 years old and he was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes when he was 9. When you're first diagnosed, the disease takes over a little bit and you have to really make an effort to make that not the case because you have to let your child know they're a person first who happens to have diabetes. But they are the same person they've always been. They just have an extra element to them that not many other people have. When CGMs were new to the market, Davis's endocrinologist wanted him to have a CGM. However, insurance companies didn't necessarily want to provide that for their patients right away. So we had to advocate to get a CGM. We wrote letters to what's called the Pharmacy Review Board with his insurance company using insurance language that I became familiar with through reading through my policy. And in doing that, we are able to communicate better and clear a path for the insurance company to say yes. When you are advocating, you don't always say the right thing and you don't always advocate appropriately, meaning your emotions get in the way. It's a very difficult thing to do. And what I would say to anybody in this situation is that you have to allow yourself to fail in a way, although it's not a failure, and you have to forgive yourself. And when you do that, you become stronger and I think having this disease and managing this disease really shows you what you're made of. When you advocate with the insurance company, the more people that do that, the more likely it is that an insurance company will change their policy. So it is extremely important in the community when you hit a brick wall or you feel like you've hit a brick wall, don't ever give up. Don't ever stop writing. Don't ever stop speaking. Don't ever stop letting people know your story because this is how change happens.